Hey, hey, y'all. Shalom, shalom. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my ginger shot. So let's see what we need. Of course, you need to have a pineapple because this is going to get really strong. Okay, y'all. You need to have your honey. Manuka honey is what I believe is the best honey to have right now. Or if you can actually get the honey from the honeycomb, that'll be even better. So I don't actually have the turmeric. I have turmeric powder, but you need your turmeric. I have the pineapples already cut up that I'm going to use, okay? One lemon. Um, you can see the lemon size in the palm of my hand, so it's just like, I guess, a medium or small lemon. I'm going to be using as much as my garlic cloves as I can, because I'm going to make it as strong as possible. This is the size of the ginger root that I am using. As I said, again, I am going to make it as strong as possible. Um, I normally don't put peppermint, but I have peppermint, so yes, it's going in there. Um, this is like an empty Manuka bottle. I had already made some. Um, and the reason why I made some already, as you guys can see that right here, is because this bottle, this bottle had a little bit of honey left, like this one does. And let me try to get this open. The honey's still on there, so it's kind of hard to open, but hold on. Okay, so this one, if you guys can see, let me throw my light on. On the corners or the bottom of this right here, it has honey. So I'm going to put the first bit of juice in here, and then the remainder I'm going to put in here with like a half a teaspoon of honey. Yeah, pineapple already has sugar, so I don't need... A whole two three scoops of this two three teaspoons of honey I need a half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon of honey just so that the honey can help it stick to whatever bacteria or whatever is going on in my system it'll help the ginger and the turmeric and most of all the garlic stick I'm only using this because this is spicy this of course is tangy but when you mix ginger and garlic, it tends to get really, really potent. And um, when you swallow it, you get that, <coughs> you know, that uh, effect. That's what we're looking for, y'all, okay? You want to make sure that when you swallow this, you got that kick in the back of your throat. Nice, hot feeling in your chest. That means it's burning all that bacteria on the way down. Now, this is a ginger shot. This is a booster. In order for you to fight any bacteria that you have, you have to consistently be consuming God's medicine, okay? You have to consistently be consuming this. That means you should be drinking a ginger tea every day. You should be having a ginger and garlic shot on a daily basis. No excuses. Even if it's the Sabbath. If it's the Sabbath, that means that you're putting this in a smoothie, Ginger needs to be going down in your system on a daily basis. Sea moss needs to be going on in your system on a daily basis. G um, garlic needs to be going down in your system on a daily basis. Turmeric, and I'm talking about the root, not the powder, needs to be going down in your system on a daily basis. Now, if you go to the store and you can't find it, a Proverbs 31 woman, go far. That means don't go to your local Publix. You can't find it, and that's it. No, ma'am. You need to be heading to your local um, farmer's market or you need to be heading to another uh, Whole Foods or you need to be heading wherever you need to go find it. You need to be heading however much miles you need to go find it because you need to have it every day in order for you to fight and keep your system healthy, right, y'all? So let me stop you up in my mouth. I'm trying to break up the ginger as I'm talking with you. I'm trying to pull it apart, but let's see. All right, y'all, so as I'm making this, I'm just gonna show y'all what I'm doing. I'm trying to move as fast as possible because I don't know how to zoom up my videos as yet. So, take this. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over. My lemons in half. I do not take the lemon skins off 
because in the Caribbean, we normally let the skin dry in the sun and we use it for a tea. So obviously that means that there's something in the skin that we should be consuming. So that's why I don't take the lemon skin off. Now I do have my stand up juicer, like what's in the picture. But um, that stand up juicer overheats very quickly, especially when I'm doing things like branches and kale and stuff like that. So um, when I'm not making a smoothie, when I'm making stuff where I know I'm gonna leave the skin on, like my lemon right now, or I'm gonna be juicing this peppermint, I use this one. And I had this one for, I uh, think about three, going on four years now. The only thing with this one is, um, there's a strainer in there that starts that um, the fruits or your vegetables or your or your um, your greens it pushes through it in order for it to juice and it starts having that wear and tear so it starts pushing it apart you have to replace that and sometimes the right size if you're not going to the actual company you don't never get the right size. Sometimes they're too long or too wide. That's what made me buy a new juicer. I didn't need a new juicer, but anyway, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's done. Um, a few pieces of pineapple. This is soft, so. Just cutting up everything so that the juicer doesn't have to do much of the work. I don't really need this much. I don't want it too soon. Okay, y'all. This is what I'm using. All right, y'all. So, I hope you guys can see it. This is what I'm juicing. Let me get a little bowl just to catch. All of the stuff that's like coming out and all of the pulp. I'm going to put this on hard. So this is a little one that I have. In the bottom, I'm just going to put as much turmeric as possible. Maybe about like, if you can, two or three Maybe two, two scoops of, two tablespoons of, of uh, turmeric, if you guys can see that. Just enough so that it, you can taste it. Because the powder, you're not going to really taste it as strong as everything else. So, I'm going to start off with this. Add this in the middle so that I can actually get the taste of my peppermint. Add some pineapple, add some ginger, push it down. The heavy stuff is what makes the, the ginger, the, um, the juicer really work. So that's why I try to like incorporate everything in between the ginger. Don't be like me and shove your hand down there. Uh, some of them come in glaze. it through it help it go down faster I don't want to really strain my juicer but I can see from this angle when nothing is in the blade it doesn't take that much see right now nothing's in the blade nothing's moving down so I'm just gonna push it down a little bit try not to push my finger past that halfway mark Let's get all the soft stuff in there. End off with the lemon, the ginger, the garlic. Some sisters are really about their about their herbs and vegetables and know what to do with the pulp so that nothing's being wasted. 
Um, but as for me, that'll be compost for plants or garbage for right now until I know what to do with them. Don't really. So there's one thing that I forgot to show you with the ginger. The ginger that I just had was the thinner, the thinner fingers is what I would call them. Um, but when you cut it, the inside looks ivory or off-white when it should be giving me like a, like a pineapple yellow. That's how you know this ginger that you have is strong and more organic is when the color of the ginger on the inside is like a yellowish golden color. The one that I had looked ivory off white. So I know it's not strong, that's why I use so much. Because I still need the strength of, of the ginger taste. Okay. So everything that I had on the table this is what it made you can still see a little bit of the green in there from um, from the peppermint I don't normally use peppermint but because I had it and peppermint is like one of my favorite mint is one of my favorite anything I like mint no matter what I'm doing whether it's for my hair or whether it's for my skin or a juice or a tea or whatever so I'm going to put this in here, if you guys can see, it fills it up, that turmeric, I have just a little bit more, I'm going to mix it with the one that I had over here, let me get a spoon so I can mix this. Some of the Monoka honeys are thick, some of them are more thinner. One moment. So that little bit of that little bit of um, this is what I'm gonna use. You guys can see that. That's what I'm using in here. The other one, like I told you before, I'm not gonna be adding any honey to it because the bottom of it had honey already so just mix it and as the day go by I take a little sip every now and then for those of you all who have any cough runny nose or anything like that every time you blow your nose every time your nose feels stuffy and you can't breathe every few seconds you're drinking one sip two sip after you drink this, like every time, if I have like a runny nose or a stuffy nose or a headache or I'm coughing, every time one of those symptoms arrive or rear its ugly head, I need to add some turmeric. I didn't put any turmeric in this one. I'm just going to open it because uh, I'm trying to pour it out the other way was getting on my nerves. <laughs> Your sister's still working on patience, y'all. Okay. Mix the turmeric in here. Some of the honey is still stuck onto the spoon. See that? So, I'm just going to close it. Close it really tight. Shake it up really good. That's it, y'all. This is for today. If it lasts until tomorrow, then for tomorrow. This one might have too much in it. I can move this one around. I'm dropping valuable. So there's a little bit on here. So I'm going to take. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> yes, y'all. That's what I mean. <clears throat> That's what I mean. That's it right there. I got that, that garlic. The garlic right there. Right there in the back of my throat. Right in there. Feel that garlic. Yep. This two right here. 
I don't need no cough syrup, y'all. Here goes my cough syrup. Shalom, y'all. Hope it helps.